Well, it was definitely another scorcher out there, and it was pretty warm all weekend. And we we're still going to have a couple more hot days on our hands before some much-needed rain makes its way through. Now, if you haven't heard already, they're looking at some pretty intense storms going to make their way through Ohio in about the next 45 minutes or so. Pretty strong straight-line winds in from the west, about 80 miles per hour. And they're already seeing some tornado warnings. Here in the Concho Valley, though, we're just tracking those temperatures as we drop back down into those lower 70s last night, like we will tonight. And then we made a good 30-degree run up into those triple digits today and we're holding strong at 100 degrees usually when we're under the influence of high pressure we're looking at a good 30 degree spread and then as things sort of cool off towards the evening you know I'm looking for that 10 degrees right now we're looking at those temperatures across the entire region 100 degrees here in San Angelo everybody else at 97 right now that's not a typo definitely 97 but of course holding on to about four degrees across the entire region you can see everybody else in those upper 90s across the entire region except for Robert Lee and Ballinger definitely joining us up in those triple digits things have dried way off as we continue to deal with some of the sweltering heat and that high pressure where everybody else is seeing record temperatures, if not fires being broken out across areas like California and Idaho, slowly pushing off towards the east. As we can see, those dew points are in those 20s and those 30s, even in those lower elevations while those dew points are pushing around those 60s and those 50s, pretty consistent across the entire region. Of course, we're looking at the upper level pattern as we start to track some of these stronger storms and these rain showers that could make their way in. We're going to see a series of low pressure systems move their way across East Canada. That's going to break up this high pressure a little bit as we make our way closer towards this weekend and by Monday, we could be all the way back down into those 80s. Yes, you heard me correctly. With a strong opportunity for some rain, finally some relief. Moisture track are going to show you how this cold front is going to push down on all this moisture and really keep it around the Gulf Coast region. You know, we're tracking a lot of those trap tropic conditions, but nothing out there right now. As we can see, stronger concentrations really pushing their way into the Concho Valley. Severe weather outlook. Here's exactly what I'm talking about across the areas of Ohio into Illinois and Indiana. Of course, targeting southern parts of Wisconsin and Michigan everywhere else, but except the Concho Valley. When we take a good look at the satellite, you can see that tornado watch being issued for those parts of eastern Ohio. And of course, we're looking at a lot of the severe weather thunderstorm watches and warnings being issued all along this region. Of course, you're getting a better idea of this uniform homogenous high pressure we looked at last week while we're seeing some flash flooding off near Nevada, Arizona, and California. Getting a closer look at the Concho Valley when I'm showing you absolutely nothing but hot, hot temperatures. The future cast is going to show you as we make our way through this week, we're going to start looking at some of this cloud cover really push its way in from the north. Of course, around that Abilene area by about Wednesday, Thursday, we can start to see some of that thunderstorm activity push in. Then it makes its way down into the Concho Valley. Take a good look at this storm ripping across from the west and the Panhandle, New Mexico area, and making its way in from the east from the Austin area. It's going to take aim at junction, so it's coming in from both directions by Thursday afternoon, and in classic fashion, this is where my model runs out. Now, as we make our way into tonight, we're still going to hold on to some of those breezier conditions. You definitely feel it as you're driving around on the loop. We're going to get down into those 70s, and then by tomorrow, another hot day. So let's make sure we're practicing a lot of that hot weather safety, drinking plenty of water. Of course, using sunscreen, big floppy hats, and checking the back seat, making sure everybody's safe as we continue to deal with some of this hot weather. As we make our way closer towards the middle of the week, you can see us gradually cooling off back down into those 90s. Good opportunity for some thunderstorm activity by Thursday. Friday looking pretty humid if we do see a, an abundant amount of rain. As we make our way through the weekend, take a good look. We're getting down into those 90s by Monday next week. That last week of July, we're all the way down into those 80s as those rain chances are pretty strong up at 60% while those lows are following the same trend, going from those mid-70s all the way down into those lower 70s, if not those upper 60s. Stay tuned. We'll have more up the break. You're watching KSAN News.